burgers, fries, chicken. Who doesn't love fast food? I know I do. It's one of my favorites. But how to order it in English? What's the proper thing to say? Let's find out using the classic fast food McDonald's. It's everywhere in the world. How to order in English? We will learn this today. First, let's talk about etiquette, etiquette, which is how to act in any situation. Now, it's the way polite people do things. It's the proper way to do things in the world. So, some examples of good etiquette. It's proper etiquette. To give your bus seat to the elderly or the injured. So if somebody comes on the bus, they're very old, you are young, you should stand up, let them sit. That's proper bus etiquette. Or it is good etiquette to say hello back when someone says hello to you. So someone says hello. You say hi, hey, hello. You say a greeting back. If you don't, it's bad etiquette. It's a little rude. Someone says hello, and you just. It's not a normal thing to do, not a polite thing to do. An example of bad etiquette. It's bad etiquette to talk with your mouth full. We've all seen people talk, lots of food in their mouth. Wah, 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 wah. Food flying out. It's very disgusting to see. Nobody wants to see that. That is bad etiquette. It's not the good way to act. It's not against any rule, but it's not the proper thing to do. That's etiquette. Proper etiquette in a fast food restaurant like McDonald's. So remember, fast food. It should be fast, very quick. So that means your order should be fast. They should give you the food quickly too. Fast food. When you come into the restaurant, if there's a lineup, or you might call a queue. So many people waiting. You should start looking at the menu, all the food up top, and decide what you want before you get to the counter. You don't want to be the person holding up the line. Holding up the line means. You are making it very slow. The people behind you have to wait longer because you are taking a long time. That's holding up the line. Well, somebody holding up the line will get to the front. So oh, I don't know what I want. Then they start deciding. The people behind you already know what they want. So they will get very angry at you. That's bad etiquette. You should know what you want before you get in the fast food restaurant. Or when you get there, there's a long line. You should start looking as soon as you get in line. If there's a short line, stand to the side, decide what you want before you get in the line. This way you don't hold up the line. That will be good etiquette in a fast restaurant, in a fast food restaurant too, because the food will be ready fast. You should be ready fast to order. Also, you should have your money ready. 
not exactly counted, it's okay, but have your wallet somewhere you can get it. You don't want to be looking through the bag for your money once it's time to pay, because that will also hold up the line. So it's proper etiquette to decide what you want before you get there or decide in the line or decide before you enter the line and make sure you have your money quickly to get so you can go up front, order the food, pay, move to the side, get the food and leave. That is proper etiquette for ordering at a McDonald's or any fast food restaurant. Next, let's talk about menus. A menu, pronounced menu, is the list of food available there. So like here you can see the McDonald's menu. They have all the drinks, the burgers, the salad even at McDonald's. Everything you can find should be on a menu. It'll look something like this. You can order a combo or a set. So these have the same meaning. And it's just a group of food sold together. Normal one for McDonald's would be french fries, hamburger, and a drink. That would be a combo or a set. But it could be any grouping. Could be a, a chicken wrap, an apple pie, and a coffee. That could also be a combo. It doesn't matter what's in it. Just the group of food together is a combo or set. And you can order these by using the number above them in the menu. So this one I just circled here would be the combo two. And I can see this is a breakfast sandwich. So you might say, I'd like the breakfast combo two, or I'd like combo two from the breakfast menu, please. Or if we're ordering combo five, like here, that one's way over here. I'd like combo five from the value menu, please. Now this one value menu, that's usually the cheaper menu, like a special deal. It's a lower price. That's the value menu. And I got this name. It's hard to see up here but it tells you it's a value menu. So you order a combo by saying combo and the number. And it's a polite way to start by saying I'd like. We don't say I want and don't say give me. Those would be rude, rude ways to answer. They'll still give you the food if you order that way but it's not polite. It's not proper etiquette. I'd like da, 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 is polite. Or could I have da, 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 would be polite too as well. It's polite to always add please at the end of your sentence. I'd like a combo number five please, or I'd like a coffee, please. Could I have a Coca-Cola, please? And if you don't want the combo, maybe you just want a Big Mac, just say what you want. I'd like a Big Mac, please. Could I have a Big Mac, please? And if you want something more, you could ask for extra. I'd like a cheeseburger with extra cheese, please. 
There's that word again, please. Please is very important in English if you want to sound polite when you're asking for things. If you don't know if what you're saying is rude or not, if it's a question, always give please at the end. Could I borrow your pen, please? Makes it a lot more polite. No. If you want more of something, ask for extra. I'd like the cheeseburger, extra cheese. I'd like a sausage McMuffin, extra sausage. I'd like a chicken wrap with extra lettuce. Anything you want more of, you can add extra. And if you want two of that thing, so let's say you want a cheeseburger with two beef patties. Now a patty is the circle of beef. So if you want two of those, you can use double. I'd like a double cheeseburger, please. Or I'd like a pork burger with double patties. Could you double the meat, please? These are all good ways to ask for more of the one thing that you want. If you want to change a food in the combo, so you don't want one part of it, you can use the phrase instead of after the new food you want and before the old one. I'd like a combo five with an apple pie instead of the fries, please. Once again, there is please. So in this one, you want an apple pie, you don't want the fries. So you say an apple pie instead of the fries. The thing you want comes before instead of, the thing you don't want comes after. I'd like a coffee instead of a Coke, please. I'd like two hamburgers instead of French fries, please. Whatever you want to take out, just use instead of, before, the old thing you want to put out, and the new thing you want to replace, instead of. Let's talk about drinks. So I know in many foreign countries, you guys like to order by small or by S M L. I'll have a Coke M size, please. Or I'll have a S water. But in English restaurants or in English speakers, don't say just the letters. We say the full word. I'd like a small Coke, like a medium Sprite. I'd like a large orange juice. So don't say just the letter when you're ordering in English if you want to sound like an English speaker. The, the person at McDonald's will still know S is small, M is medium, L is large. So you'll still get your drink. But if you want to sound like a native speaker, say the full word when you order it. Also, we don't say big size when we're ordering drinks. We use large. I'd like a large Coke. I'd like a large Sprite. Not big size. And you can see here, if it comes in the cup that they fill up, or sometimes they give you the cup, you go fill it. And that is called a fountain drink. So if they ask you, do you want a fountain drink? If you want this kind, you say, yes, I do. And when you want to fill it again, so you drink all your Coke, and you want more, 
you can ask for a refill. Could I get a refill, please? And if the restaurant says free refills, that means you can fill it up as many times as you want. If you want another type, like over here, you have to give the name of it first, the container. So I'd like a bottle of Coke, please. I'd like a can of Coke, please. But if it's the fountain drink, you just say the size and the drink. I'd like a large Coke, please. Most times, if you're ordering in a fast food restaurant, you'll get a fountain drink. I think it's much cheaper for them. They make more money on these, so they try to sell you these. But if you want a can or a bottle, you must ask for that before the word. I'd like a bottle of orange juice. I'd like a can of Sprite, please. And you can ask, does the fountain drink come with free refills? If they say yes, that means you can refill it as many times as you want. So remember, say the full words, small, medium, large, not SML. Fountain drink comes in the cup. Bottle has the lid you can turn. Can, ksh, made of metal. Those are your normal drinks for fast food. Another thing to remember, in English countries, we don't count meat as just beef. I know in many countries, you guys call beef meat, or the translation to meat. But in English countries, meat is just a category. It doesn't mean beef. So if you say, I want a meat burger, the person will ask you, what kind of meat do you want? If you want a beef burger, you can just say burger. Anywhere you go, if you order a burger, a cheeseburger, it will come beef. You can also add the word beef and say, I would like a beef burger, and that is okay too. But if you want a different meat than beef, you have to say that word first. I want a chicken burger, pork burger, fish burger, etc. So when you go up to the counter, if you want beef, you can say, I'd like a burger. You will get beef. If you want chicken, I'd like a chicken burger, please. Pork. I'd like a pork burger, please. I'd like a fish burger, please. I'd like the meat burger, please. Or if it's beef, just I'd like a burger, please. So that's how we order meat. Let's do our first practice order. Here you can see the dialogue, so you can read along and practice too. And let's get started. Hello, how can I help you? Hi, can I have the double cheeseburger with extra bacon, please? Yes, would you like the combo or just the burger? Just the burger, thanks. Is that for here or to go? Uh, take out, please. I'll take it to go. Okay, that'll be 5.99. Thank you very much. Okay, now in that one, the... The true person at McDonald's won't say 5.99. They'll say 5.99 or $5.99. But for the robot voice, 5.99. You can see on this one. Yes, how can I help you? Hi, can I have? A normal response, if you have can in a question, you can give can in an answer. And then he adds please on the end to make it polite. And the server asks, would he like the combo or just the burger? Remember, combo is the set. 
So that would come with something else and a drink. Like fries and a drink. Pie and a drink. We're just getting the burger today. Is that for here? So that would mean you eat at the McDonald's. They'll give you the tray. You eat there. Or to go, you take home, which is the same as take out. So that's number one. Let's try another one here where they get the combo, but they don't quite order a combo. They don't order with the combo number. Welcome. What would you like to order? I would like to get a double cheeseburger, please. Would you like everything on it? I would like everything on it. Thank you. Do you want any fries? Let me get some large curly fries, please. Can I get you anything to drink? Sure. How about a medium Pepsi? Is that everything? That'll be all, thanks. You're welcome, and your total is $5.48. Thank you. Here you go. Okay. So this one you can see. They got all the things for the combo, but they didn't order a combo. Many times, the, the staff will ask you, do you want fries? Do you want a drink? If you say yes to both of those, you're basically getting a combo. And curly fries are the french fries at spin. Also notice, he asked for a medium Pepsi. Not an M Pepsi. We say the full word in English. Medium Pepsi. And that will be all. That means you don't want anything more. Oh, and one more thing. Everything on it. Someone asked, do you want everything on it? That means all the vegetables they have and the sauce they normally put. If you don't want something, Oh, no pickles, please. No onions, please. But if you want it all, you want everything on it. And our last one, easy peasy, ordering a combo. Let's do this one. Welcome to McDonald's. How can I help you? I'd like a combo three, please. Sure. What do you want to drink? A large Coke, please. Okay. That's $4.99. Thank you very much. You can see the difference from this one to this one. Just picking a combo makes it much shorter and much easier to order because then the worker won't ask you if you want fries or a drink. They will just give it for you. They will ask what drink you want and get a Coke, Pepsi, Sprite, whatever you want. And again, remember, we say large, not big, and not L drink. So that's how to order at McDonald's. Remember, don't hold up the line. Meat is a category, not a type of burger. You must say the beef, chicken, pork, fish burger, if you want a different beef. Combo or set many foods that come together to make one one meal and also always add please when you're asking for something i would like please can i have please those are polite ways to ask so i hope you like this video leave a like and subscribe i'll see you guys next time